Welcome back guys. Today we are working on a 40 ounce Stanley tumbler. Uh, I went ahead and taped off the top of it so I could have some stainless exposed. And then and this is the original color of the Stanley. It's a rose quartz. I went ahead and sanded it with a sanding block and cleaned it off with 91% alcohol. We're using the epoxy method to adhere our glitter. So you saw me take less than five milliliters of epoxy and we're just gonna smear it all over the tumbler, paying close attention to the handle and the small areas that are easily missed. Here you see me patting down the tumbler after I've applied all the epoxy. This is just to eliminate any lines you may have left with your hands. Now that we have our cup epoxy, we're gonna go in with our glitter. I like to use five or six different glitters in a swirl pattern. Um, I like to use different sizes and cuts of glitter just to give it a little more dimension. But we're just gonna go ahead and start laying our glitter as you can see. You'll also notice that I'm choosing to cover the logo on this cup. You don't have to do that. You can block it off with masking tape if you'd like, but I'm choosing to cover the logo on this one. One thing that I love about this cup is that you literally cannot mess this up. It is so abstract and I love that. There's no templates, no right or wrong way to do anything. Just go with the vibes.
So usually when I do cups with handles, I like to focus on the body first and then do the handle last. That way if I have any bald spots, I could easily cover those. For the handle, I like to take the cup off of the turner so that way I have better control of where the glitter is going. As you can see, I'm just taking some of the fine glitter that I used in this cup and I'm just going over some of the bare spots. And this can get really tricky, so make sure you take your time and focus on the handle and make sure that everything is covered. Once you have your handle completely covered, take some fine glitter and go over the entire cup to make sure that there aren't any gaps or bald spots that you may have missed. This tape peel is always so satisfying to me. Now we're going to take our scissors and just gently tap off any excess glitter. And here is the beautiful glitter in all its glory out in the sun. This is before epoxy. So after this step, we're going to take our parchment paper and lay down those chunky glitters. And then we're going to spray seal it a couple of times. We're gonna let that dry and then move on to the next step. So at this point, we have two layers of epoxy. We did the first layer, let it cure, did the second layer, and then let it cure all the way. And then we took a sander to the cup so we could sand it down just a bit. It doesn't have to be completely smooth at this point, but it needs to be somewhat smooth in order to get your veins the way you want them to look. So we're just gonna go in with our third coat of epoxy and we're gonna pop those bubbles as you can see. Here I'm using white epoxy dye, but you can use whatever you'd like, acrylic paint, mica, whatever you want, but this is what I'm using. And we're just gonna go in with our popsicle stick and add some veins. Again, this design is completely abstract. You can do as many veins as you like, as thick as you like, or as thin as you like. I personally like the thin streaky veins and I don't like as many veins. Again, it's all abstract, do what you like. Once you have your veins the way you want them to be, go ahead and pop those bubbles and let this layer cure. And here she is. At this point, you can go ahead and add a name if you like. If not, you can sand it and coat it a few more times until you get that perfect finish as you desire. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in to watch me make this gorgeous Stanley Tumber. If you don't have the courage to do it and you want to go ahead and purchase one from yourself, be sure to click the link below and visit my website to place your orders today. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you at our next video. Bye!